Hello, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Mm, it is Diana and Marisa. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Hi. I thought you were not there. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. I. No, I just Se me vencieron las la batería de mi mouse y me, me cuesta manejar la laptop así. Oh, really? Is it difficult? Oh, creo que se salió del... Bueno, let's play for her. So let's see the welcoming to and oh my god. My this is like continue with the, with 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 the name of another person. All right, uh, Diana, are you there? Okay, let's see. Let's wait for everybody to join them. Sorry, teacher. Me salí Okay. Okay. There you go. How do you feel now? You feel better? So so teacher. So so yet? Ah, okay. All right. No, I tuve que ir al seguro otra vez. Que noche tuve una mala noche, pero hoy ya me siento bastante bien. Ay, qué bueno. Qué bueno escuchar eso. That's really cool. Me ha pegado fuerte. Ah, sí, es que a veces suele suele dar ese tipo de situaciones así. Yeah, mm -hmm. tend to be like hard sometimes. Uh, but you feel, you, the, the good thing is that you feel better than, than the other days. Te sientes mejor que los otros mm -hmm. días y eso es bueno. That's sí, hoy sí. Nah, ok, that's sí, nice. Hoy no, hoy no, hoy no. Hoy no fui a trabajar tampoco. Como le repito, tuve una mala noche. Y tuve que ir a pasar consulta otra vez hoy en la tarde, pero uh -huh. ahorita ya me siento bastante bien. Ajá, uh -huh. feel better. That's good. That's really nice. All right, so more and more, uh, more of your classmates are getting connected. So let's see. So good evening to everybody. Why do just Maritza is, is with the camera on? Uh, come on, people, turn your camera on. Ah, there you go. Hi, Ruth. It's good to see you again. You look tired, Ruth. You're kind of tired today? You had a long day today? Ya. Ya me siento mejor, teacher. Ah, you feel better? That's excellent. That's really nice. It means that you're ready to have a class, right? To participate in everything in the class. That's excellent. Okay. Me alegra escuchar eso, Ruth. Me alegra que se ya 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 esté mejor. Okay. All right. So let's see. Ha. Ah, Fatima is waking up. Hi, Fatima. Estuvo. estuvo Hi, teacher. Estuvo rica la dormida. <laughs> no. No. Ay, qué chivo nah, fuera. I mean, it's because I see no. you and you're like, like, like doing this. Like, like, uh -huh. like, nah. No, sí me siento very, very tired. You feel tired? Very tired? Really? Yes. Do you have a hard day today? Mm, sí. Eh, tengo muchas cosas que hacer en mi trabajo. Nah. Terrible. Supongo que por eso ayer eh, no se conectó. I guess. Es que, eh, ajá, eh, tuve una reunión. Lo que pasa es que están implementando un nuevo software en la empresa. Y es contable. Entonces, ah, 
soy parte y reuniones y terminó súper tarde la reunión de ayer. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ah, so then that's why you were not in the class. No, ok. Aceptable. Uh -huh. There you go. And uh, how about Andrea Cristales? ¿Qué tal? How was your... Your day. <laughs> Oh, Maritza. Ay, sí, chef. Sí. ¿Sabe qué? No entiendo por qué siempre me aparece de, con el nombre de ella. Really? Es que cuando se va a unir, eh, generalmente siempre le preguntan, uh, cuando se va a unir siempre le preguntan por la, con qué nombre quiere unirse. Y si ya lo tiene predeterminado, a mí Pero no, bien dejar, raro. Pero bien raro porque me meto con el correo que me mandan, donde me dan el link. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No sé por qué me, siempre me tira el nombre de mi niña. That is weird. Ajá. A lo mejor ya lo tiene como nombre predeterminado para poder acceder. Ajá, that, that happens sometimes. Ajá, por eso ya voy a revisar eso porque... Ajá, you can check it. <laughs> yeah, because you, you appear with a new name. Ah. And I was like... Uh, do I have a new student? Hmm. Weird. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool. Hey, uh, viernes, yeah, yeah. Today is Friday, last day of the week. And you look kind of tired, but you look happy at the same time because some of you tomorrow don't mm -hmm. work. In my case, I had to work. Mm -hmm. But anyways, such is life. I feel like, yeah. Who doesn't work tomorrow? Maritza, do you work tomorrow? No. Ah, good. Good for you. Uh, ever, you work tomorrow, right? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Do you work tomorrow? No. Not really? You don't work tomorrow? Ah, that's nice. No. Ah, okay. Nice. How about you, Vanessa? Do you work tomorrow? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Yes, every day, teacher. In, including Sundays? Yes. It's a oh. free day. And Monday between Thursday. Ah, okay. Monday and Thursday. You got day off. So. Um, one day. Only one day. Ah, ah, okay, okay. That's nice. Ah, but working on Sunday. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, I don't know. It, it, feels, it feels weird, like working on Sundays. No, but that's, that's cool. So let's see who else is I see is here. Where you got Ruth, you got Diana, that didn't answer. Okay, probably she's not there. Uh, hi, Jennifer. Good evening. Hello, Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hold on, please. I guess you're doing the coffee. No. Yeah, it's a walk. Ah, okay. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it, is it raining by the place where you live, people? Está lloviendo por estos lados. Sí, en, en Santa Tecla está lloviendo. Ah, sí, es que sí, se siente que está cayendo y una media tormenta. But I don't, I, I, I don't know if it is in Nubia's house or, or you, Maritza. <laughs> no, no. No, porque yo estoy con audífonos, no oye. Ah, ah, ok. Ah, de repente se calmó. Whose microphone was it? Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, weird. I don't know how I many. That was weird. But anyways, let's just start up the class. So let, let me let me uh open up the uh, attendance list. Okay, to start with the topic for tonight. So let's see, Ana Claribel. Let me she usually comes late. Ana María, nah, not here. Carlos Ademir, neither. Eric Guillermo, 
Eric, are you there? <laughs> no. What's up, Eric? Are you there? Está regando las plantitas. Eh, está en el oso campero. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's continue. No there. Uh, he told me it's a restaurant. I don't know. I mean, I don't know San Salvador. Right. Ever de Jesús. Present teacher. Now, okay, good. Fatima Alejandra. Hi, teacher. So sorry, que tengo llamada. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Sorry, te tengo llamada, teacher. Okay, okay. Okay, with the call. <laughs> Fatima Alejandra. Present teacher. <laughs> okay. Good. Hilmar Cruz. Ah, come on, Hilmar. Hilmar. <laughs> Just on time, Hilmar. Good. Okay. Uh, Jonathan Alexander. No, here it is. Jorge Elvir. No, it's not here yet. Carla Benacer. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Margot. Hernández. Hmm. Margot ya no se conectó, teacher. Yes, inclusive le mandé un mensaje, pero no me ha contestado. That's weird, but, porque ella me dijo que se sí, iba a estar conectando. I'm going to text her again. Le voy a textar de nuevo. Let's see what happens. Maritza Alcira. Okay. Natalie Vanessa. It's not here yet. Romeo Alexis. It's not here. Rosa del Carmen. Rosa. Present. Okay, cool, Rosa. Ruth Joanna. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, let's check. Sara Carolina. I use Sara, it's not here. Um, let's see, Stephanie Lisset. She's not here yet. Vanessa Obed. Present teacher. Okay, cool. William Alberto. Present. Okay, good, William. Ah, Roxana Yesenia. Okay, not here. Novia Zulema. Present teacher. Okay, Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, great. And Diana Gabriela. Diana. <laughs> Just look at me. And... <laughs> Present teacher. No la escuché. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh, so we're gonna start with the things that we got for today. Let me let me see this thing. I'm gonna share this presentation, and we're gonna have today. Okay, so let's see. So let's remember this is the video conference number seven, and today's topic is going to be how to use can and could, all right? For some of you, or most of you, I can say most of you, um, this topic is going to be easy. Why easy? Because this topic, we practiced it last week. If you remember, we were discussing can, okay? And also the past module, module number three, if you remember, we were discussing can and could also, okay? Now, I think, I think it's gonna be like kind of easy for you to understand it. So we're gonna focus more, the most uh, on, on practice, okay? So that's gonna be like the topic that we're going to be discussing, okay? How to use can and could. with positive statement, negative statements, and also questions, okay? All right, let's move on. What are the main points that we're gonna have uh, during the class? Let's give them in the class agenda. The first thing that we're gonna start uh, is a review from the previous topic. 
That's what we are going to do right now. Okay, let's start with that. What do we remember from yesterday's class? What was the main topic from the class from yesterday? Any volunteers? How to use how to use the pron the demonstrative pronouns. Okay, very good, Marisa. How to use the demonstrative pronouns. There you go. Pronouns. Very good. Thank you, Maritza. Now, hmm, who was the class yesterday? Vanessa. Just apagó la cámara. Anyways, Vanessa, are you there? Can you mention, Vanessa, like the most common demonstrative pronouns? The ones that we were practicing yesterday? Hello, teacher. Hi, Vanessa. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay. Can you tell me what are the demonstrative pronouns that we were practicing yesterday? Hey, where is Vanessa? Okay, se nos fue. Let's see. Uh, okay. Ever, what were those demonstrative pronouns? Sí, porque se nos eh, fue Vanessa. Ok. Eh, one is this uh -huh. and that. Uh -huh. And plural, this and those. Ah, ok. Very good. This and those. All right. This, that for singular nouns. This and those for plural nouns, right? Those were like the most common ones that we were practicing uh, yesterday, okay? There you go. Those are like the most common ones. Okay, ah, she's, she's, she's back. Teacher, teacher, sorry. Aha. Se salió, ¿verdad? Para no compromiso. Ah, solo para no, no. mencionarlo. No. Para revisar. Teacher, it's, it's the internet problem. Yeah, I know, I know, Vanessa, no problem. Okay, Vanessa. You know what? The, the, this, um, this, uh -huh. two, this, uh -huh. this, and this, this. Uh -huh. Those are like the one? Okay. Bien. Yes, Usando... and two, two, yes. Right. Okay, those were it's the ones. Four, four. Okay, there are four of them. These. This, 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 that, 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 this, that, 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 is singular. These are for plural. That is singular. Those are for plural, right? Okay, those are like those are like the, the, the differences that I want you to remember. Okay. Okay, remember there are four of them. Okay. We got four of them. We got this, those. Okay, these ones are for plurals. Then we got this. Okay, that. okay, and then we got that. Both of them are for singulars. Okay, this and that we can use the verb be and the form of the verb be that goes with this and that we got it like is that is or this is. For this, the one that represents the plural, all right, we can use R. Al, al igual que those, okay, it's with R, because they represent the plural, okay, version. Let's remember, okay. So I can say, this is a computer. 
I got it close from me. Tengo cerca de mí. That is a cell phone. So I got it far from me. Está lejos de mí, pero está hablando de uno solo. Okay. These are, snap, these are, let, let's put something. These are some pupusas, for example. I got them in here in a plate. Los tengo acá en un plato. Okay. And it's more than one. These are, okay, estas son. There you go. Those are your computers. Esas son sus computadoras. So I got it plural in that case. And they are far from me. Okay, y están lejos de, de acá. Por eso colocamos those. So let's keep it that way. Okay, good. So let's continue then. So that was just a short feedback from the from what we were discussing yesterday. All right. I hope you to remember this. Okay, this type of uh, words because we're gonna need them for when do we get the midterm exam? I think the next the next uh, Wednesday you're gonna have it. But anyways, let's continue. Okay, right after that short review for the previous topic, let's start out with one question to discuss. After that, we're gonna start explaining the uses of can and cool. Then we're gonna see a conversation that we got in the, in the manual, and then we're gonna do some exercises in there, right? And right after that, we're gonna check those exercises for a very understanding of this topic. So that's pretty much what we have for tonight. So let's start. Questions to discuss. Let's start with this question. Um, let me see. Fatima, can I read in this question, please? Como ahora vamos a what are the most common questions that customers ask you about the product to workplace sales? Ah, okay, very good. Like, what are the most common questions that customer asks you about the product your workplace sells? Okay. I'm going to start that question with a person that generally works on sales or at least, at least related to sales. In that case, I'm going to start with... Ah, Eric finished the call. Ah, cool. What's up, Eric? I'm going to start with you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Eddie. How are you? Good, and you? It's right. It's raining. Uh, it raining here in San Salvador. Yes. Good. And... Re really good for you, man. In here, nah, it's, it is not raining, and apparently, it is not going to rain. I guess. But uh, the the water is is hot, and what? in the is house and. Really hot? Really? Hot? Really. So then you will be dying in here. <laughs> if you say that it's hot <laughs> over there, you will be dying in here. <laughs> bueno, cuando usted sienta calor, <laughs> diga, bueno, por lo menos no estoy sufriendo como en San Miguel. At least. All right? Uh, y eso, y eso lo, or, va a, lo va a reconfortar un poco. Or Usulutan. Or a school that, yeah, I mean, that's, that's sure. another hot place. Yeah, that's true. True that. All right, let's as, continue. As, así, que, así que si no le escucho muy bien, más que todo, si son preguntas para que participe, se oye bien fuerte la lluvia. Ah, uh -huh, really? <laughs> My God. Ay, al rato y se, va la, y, y se va la señal, entonces. Y, se va la... y, y me quedo así con las como las compañeras se han quedado en, en, en ocasiones anteriores porque se quedan <risa> ay ya mi ey no está exhibiendo a Fátima hombre <risa> no, yo no he dicho nombre no, ni yo no he dicho nombre ay, no le hagas caso a Fátima <risa> ok Eric let's start Eric what do you think are like the most common questions that you know, like customer ask you about the product your workplace sells. Um, asking. 
Okay, uh, let's let's asking. start for the product. Let's start for the product. Depending on the product that you sell, what are the type of questions that you generally, you know, like listen from from your customers? Um, uh, the products uh, by type of products. Mm -hmm. um, Como le pudiera decir ahí en ese. If 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 the product have warranty. Ah, okay. Because because are are made in China. Ah, yeah. I mean, if people you know like tend to like get like you know not really uh -huh. confident with products from China. Sí, le tienen desconfianza. Ajá, sometimes that happens. Ajá. Sí. Ok, besides the warranty, what else, what else do they ask for? Yes, sure. In, in, in products, uh, uh, technology, in, in, uh -huh. in technology products, uh, how warranty three days. Uh -huh. um, some, some uh, uh, lámparas, como se dice en teacher? No, no recuerdo. Lamps. Lamps. Um, uh, oh, speak, a speaker. Ah, there's um, 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 Los, que otro. I don't remember. I number don't remember in this moment. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. All right, Eric. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. All right. No problem. Okay. You're welcome. If you are okay, listen up. If you are the seller of a store that got these type of products, I got you. You can see it on the screen. So then we got in here. Cell phones, computers, clothes, shoes, lamps, speakers, and refrigerators. Okay. What do you think are the most common questions that people or customer, in this case, can ask you about those products? ¿Cuáles creen ustedes que son las preguntas frecuentes? Si ustedes estuviesen vendiendo todos esos productos, ¿cuáles son las, las preguntas frecuentes que sus clientes les harían sobre los productos? Any volunteer? What will be those type of questions? The first is, is the warranty. Uh -huh, yeah, I mean, that's one of the, 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 the most common questions, right? Um, Good evening. Good evening. The Good evening. second, the capacity for the gadgets for the cell phones, computers. No, okay, uh-huh. The storage, okay, very good. The price. Now nah, I mean another one, the price, right? How much is the cell phone, right? Or how much does the cell phone cost? Okay, good. That will be like, right that. Okay, usando, usando um, el tema central que vamos a ver esta noche, podríamos <coughs> hacer también preguntas con relación a ese tipo de productos. Un ejemplo de ello con respecto al, al pre, el precio. It would be like, can you tell me the price of this product? ¿Podría decirme el precio de este producto? Okay. That will be one com common question used with can, right? Or could you tell me the price of this cell phone? ¿Podría decirme el precio de este celular? You see, that will be a or, very common or, question. Or, right? Ajá, a ver. This, this, is your best, this is your best price for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's another one, right? Yeah. Is there a bird game? Game? Bird game? Have, have game? discount. A discount? Uh -huh. Does he have a discount? Does he have a discount? Yeah, I mean. Uh, uh, an, an offer, too. I mean, uh -huh. there, are, there are products that they, they, they get offers, right? specific offers, uh -huh. depending on the season. Aha, uh -huh, Diana? 
Will you tell me uh, guarantee? The guarantee? Mm -hmm. All right. Guarantee. That would be like, could you tell me if this product has a guarantee? A guarantee? Okay. Podría decirme si este producto trae guarantía? Like, all right. That would be one question. Okay. With, with the clothes. Ahora bien. Para las damas relacionado a la ropa, ¿cómo sería el, el tipo? O, o pongan su, su lugar ustedes, okay, como clientas de una, de una tienda. ¿Cuáles son los, las preguntas más comunes que ustedes hacen sobre las prendas de vestir? When you go to buy. Tiene XXXXL. <laughs> Different colors. Ah, okay. Hey. Design. It's, like, it's like, hey, I have this in black. Do you have it in gold? <laughs> Teacher. Como cuando, como cuando no quieren comprar algo, ¿cierto? Y dice, ah, le tengo de este color y le tengo de este otro. Ay, mire, y, usted, y no lo tienen amarillo. Ay, no. Ay, este en amarillo lo quería. That's really common on women. Eso es bien común en las mujeres. I don't know if that happens to you, pero creo que sí. Ah, that's really common on you, right? Ya yeah, no se escribió, teacher. Ah. Ya no se escribió. Ah, yeah, I mean, that's true. That's true. Ajá. Uh -huh. Besides that, what else do you generally ask? Uh, Fátima. What are the common questions, Fátima, that you generally ask? And then Carla. Size, different colors. Uh -huh. What else? The size. The size. The size or design? Ah, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. There you go. El precio, ah, si les gusta, no importa, ¿verdad? It doesn't matter the price. Yeah, I mean, women, women are like that. If, if you women like one product and that product is expensive, you don't care if it is expensive. You buy it. You buy it. You really buy it. I mean, mo most of you are like that. No importa el precio. Si le encanta, se lo lleva. Y la, y la, la mejor excusa, así como que. Ah, así como que, como que. Ah, para eso trabajo. O, oh, ah, me voy a dar un gustito. ¿En la Más know? que le dejó las dos cosas juntas ahí, si solo le faltó uh, cloth, shoes, y maquillaje. Y... Makeup, ya, yeah, me da nada. Y las tres. Exactly. Yeah, like the most common. <laughs> okay, good. Teacher, how do uh -huh. you say, puedo tallármela? Can I, can I try it on? Vale, si estamos hablando de una camisa, can I try this uh, let me see. shirt on? Try on is it's like tallárselo, right? Medírselo, como nosotros decimos. Try it on. Y try es por intentar. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, my God. Okay. Ajá, Carla, what are like, the most common questions that you generally ask when you go to buy shoes? Um, <coughs> could you tell me how these shoes look on me? Ah, ajá. Another common question? Otra pregunta frecuente, Carla? Dice esa mm. ¿Cómo se dice talla, teacher? Size. Size. XS. <laughs> ok. Y que entra, entra. <laughs> ok. Y es eso. No, ok. Ahí yo. Ajá. All right. I mean, yeah, it, 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 like related to products, women are the ones that ask 
the most questions? The making two teacher for huh? the making two for if for co cotton or polyethylene I don't know. I mean, ah, uh -huh, yeah, the type of clothes that, that that the dress or the shirt is. Ah, uh -huh, I mean, that's another type of questions that they generally ask. But what happens when men go to buy shoes? What are like the most common questions that you generally ask? Uh, let's see, William. When you go to buy shoes, William. In the, in the shoes. Uh -huh. When you go to buy a, a pair of shoes, what are the most common questions that you ask? What size? Uh -huh. the size. What size there? Uh -huh. And the other is maybe the what color? Uh -huh. The color. And in the in the freeze in the price the price price what the is price? This? What is, the price. what is the price? Ah, okay, in the price. Mm -hmm. There you go. Is it difficult to use to choose a pair of shoes, William? Is difficult para usted escoger un par de zapatos or you do it like right away? In my case, it's easy. It's easy? Nah, okay. Yes. Yeah, it's like the most common, right? You see, like, I like it, all right? I take them up, all right? I buy this, this mm -hmm. pair of shoes and that's it. Uh -huh. yes. It's like kind of easy, right? Okay, William. Thank mm. you. How about okay. you, Hilmar? Is it easy for you to buy a pair of shoes or you or does it take you like long, all right? Time to buy. Huh? Guys, it's easy. For because uh, I know uh, the place uh, where where buy. Uh -huh, where to buy? Ah, so it means you don't go from one store to another store to another store looking for a, a pair of shoes, like mm -hmm. women does. Bueno, solo tengo una tienda donde compro zapatos. Only one, ¿no es cierto? Sí, solo una tienda, así que... Ahí en, ahí en Sara, dice. Ah, sí, okay. <risa> en Zombol. En ah, Zombol. con alto. No, en Zombol, son. Ah, sí, yo conozco. Zombol, Sara, de ropa, pues, Sara. Ah, sí, sí, <risa> buena, buena. Yeah, Zombol, can el perro? Exactly, that's where we go. Here in Usulutan, there is one that is called el Revolcón, so we go there. Yeah, man. Cheap. Cheap. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. So it doesn't take you long, right? And who's another man that I got here? Let's see. Romeo, turn your camera on. I want to see you. Romeo, are you there? Okay, I think he's not there. Ah, no. Yeah, it's a Romeo. Hi, Romeo. Ok, Romeo, cuando usted va a hacer a, a comprar zapatos, I, an example, how much time do you spend on buying a pair of shoes? ¿Cuánto tiempo se tarda usted on choosing one pair of shoes en escoger un, 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 un par de zapatos? Like that. Alrededor de 20, 20 minutos. 20 minutos. 20 minutos a uh, 50. Per 35 minutes. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, good. It's not that much. And some bolsada for one dollar. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man. We identify each other because of that. So let's see another one. Jorge, it's going to be the last one. Jorge, how much time do you spend when you go to buy a pair of shoes? Sorry? How much time do you spend when you go to buy a pair of shoes? ¿Cuánto tiempo se tarda cuando va a comprar uh, zapatos, por así decirlo? Uh, <laughs> no tengo idea. Uh, no, no are, you, are, you, are you very detailed on that? 
¿Se tarda mucho? ¿La hay poco? Uh, the last time, uh -huh. maybe 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yes, only see the, the boots and like it and pay it and get out. Go, go and buy it, home. right? Go and buy it. Huh? Okay, yeah. nice. No complicating. <laughs> I mean, not complicated, right? Okay. Yeah. Yes. That's what we, I mean, that's what men differentiate from women. Ha, let's, let, let's see this question. Jennifer, how much time do you spend on buying a pair of shoes? Three hours or four hours <laughs> or five hours. Three hours. <laughs> I mean, just imagine. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. You know what? That's what when my wife tells me, hey, look, I need to buy some clothes for real. That's a nightmare for me because I had to spend like almost four hours with her walking, like from store and a store and a store. I was like, oh my God. Una vez me dijo eso mi familia, le dije, aquí las dejo, las vengo a traer el otro lunes. <laughs> <laughs> y compramos el primero que vimos. That's Vamos por todas las tiendas y compra el primero que vio. No, I mean, that's that's easy, right? That's, that's true. And you know what? Sabe, last, sabe last que lo que yo hago? Yo me Todavía vamos con duda. A tomarme un café. Yo me siento right. a tomar un café y ahí espero. No, I mean, Sin complicación. Not in my case. Eh, me agarra de la mano. Oh, no, usted va a andar conmigo. Y la amiga like, oh, my God. Are you serious? And, and she tells me everywhere. And the worst thing, you know, what is the worst thing? Entra a una tienda. ¿Le gusta algo? Y luego lo ve, así como que, ah, probablemente en la otra encuentro algo mejor. And she, she goes there. And there go, store by store by store. And you know what? Cuando va por la quinta, vuelve y me dice, maybe, ah, no, maybe you know she what? Teacher, she maybe, uh -huh. teacher, maybe, uh, maybe buy the, the scum for <laughs> 10, 10 cents or one dollar only. Sometimes that happens. Uh -huh. Sometimes that happens. Ya cuando va como por la quinta tienda, ya, ya dado vuelta a todo, she tells me, you know what? Iré a comprar el que vimos en la primera tienda. Y no sé, ¿qué? I mean, and I get mad, but I mean, we may not like that. Así son. Pero se llama karma. Yeah. Pero, mean, pero no reniega, va, teacher. They are like that. ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? I see, I we see. Can, we can't no reniega. Anything. We cannot si no. do anything. Si no, pregúntele a Nubia que hace cuánto tiempo era que los hombres matábamos grandes animales, ¿va, Nubia? Ah, pecho plateado con arma de... <laughs> ok. <laughs> nah, people. Nah, we have, we have to, you know, like, be kind of, kind of, kind of patient with them. Sometimes, not all the time. Sometimes. Ok, good. Let's start with the first word or the first structure that we're gonna start off the class. Listen up, we're gonna start with the verb can. Remember, can is a modal verb. Este es considerado en la categoría de verbos modales, okay? Modal verbs. And what happened with modal verbs? Todos los verbo, todo verbo modal or every modal verb funciona como verbo auxiliar. Su función principal es servir como verbo auxiliar. ¿Ok? What does it mean? ¿Qué significa esto? Que estos verbos no pueden ir solos en una oración. Simple as that. ¿Ok? Right? They cannot go alone in one sentence. They have to be with an extra verb that indicates the action. ¿Ok? Right? For them to have a better meaning. Example, if I say, I can teach English. So you see, we got a can, but then I had the verb teach. Okay, what is, what is, what is that in that case, uh, the function of can? It is showing an ability. Okay, entonces ahí, simplemente can sirve para denotar, eh, dependiendo del contexto, si funciona como una habilidad, if it is worse with an ability, or it shows a formal request, or it shows a possibility. So, tiene tres funciones principales. The first one, funciona como 
a uh, un verbo modal que denota verb. habilidad. Ok, ajá. Es un modal verb que puede denotar habilidad. An ability. I can cook. You can swim. She can play the guitar. Esas son habilidades que cada uno posee. All right. Not everybody, but an ability, remember, is considered an activity that you do and it is easy for you to develop. Okay. A formal request. Can you dance with me? All right. That's a request. Ahí estamos ya eh, haciendo una petición o solicitud, right? A formal request. Possibility. I can win the lottery tomorrow. Ah, puedo ganar la lotería if I then, right? So that's a possibility. Or it can rain tomorrow. Ah, puede llover más tarde o mañana. So we're talking in there in a possibility, okay? Or showing a possibility. But what does it mean? En este caso significa que can siempre tiene que ir acompañado de un verbo extra, okay? ¿Y cuál es la función de ese verbo extra? Dar la acción, ok, de la que vamos a hablar. Y que él simplemente va acompañando para enfatizar en algunas ocasiones o para denotar cierto grado de habilidad. Ok. Let's start with a short uh, definition of Ken. Jorge, help me a reading. Ken is often used to talk about abilities and formal requests. Okay, we're gonna do it, and we're gonna see Ken using these two functions to talk about abilities and formal requests. We got some examples. Romeo, let's read. I can send you my personal information. Nah, okay, there you go. I can send you my personal information. If you take a look in here, we get, a, grammatically speaking, this sentence, we got a subject, we got can, and then the main verb. What is the main verb? The verb send, sí. okay? That is the main verb, send. And then you, my personal information, it just act like a compliment. I can't send you my personal information. Exact, an example. Let's see. Diana. Help me out reading, Diana. Well, it's Diana. Diana, are you there? Hello. Nah, okay. I think she's not there. Ana Maria, turn on your camera and read the example. Eh, es teacher, estoy en otro lado ahorita. Eh, solo le voy a leer. You can't write the letter. Ah, ok. Thank you, Ana María. Hmm. Ah, con que ha salido de casa. No, okay. Mire, ahorita tendría que estar en otra reunión. Y he preferido la clase, porque ya falta esta semana, a estar yes. en otra reunión. Yes, yes, good. Así que... That's really nice. Así que a participar. There you go. Thank you. So you can write the letter. So this is an ability, right? And then we got another example, but this is in negative. Okay, Sara, help me on reading this example. Esta cosa no me quiere funcionar. Okay. <laughs> She came pay for this TV at the moment. Ah, okay, thank you. She can't. Now, in this case, we are making a negative statement using can. ¿Y por qué la, la parte negativa va siempre unida a can? Right? Why not is together with can? Recordemos que can, como les mencionaba, es un verbo auxiliar. That is an auxiliary verb. ¿Y ¿Cuál es la función de los verbos auxiliares? Generalmente siempre ir acompañados de la negación, in this case, not, o contractado, right? To make the statement negative, okay? And then we got the main verb, that in this case, the main verb, the main verb is pay, okay? 
she can't pay for the TV at the moment. All right, good. Uno de, los, de las peculiaridades que tiene este tipo de eh, verbos, listen up, es que estos son considerados como verbos especiales, like special verbs. Why? Porque estos no sufren ningún tipo de modificación en terceras personas. If you take a look in there, ahí estamos hablando en esta oración, estamos hablando sobre un singular, a third person. We got she in that case. Y si ven, el verbo no sufre ninguna modificación. ¿Qué significa? No le vamos a agregar S, ES o IES. Right? It remains the same. Another example. I can say, Jennifer can teach science to her kids. If you take a look in there, Jennifer can. Ahí en ningún momento vamos a agregarle S al verbo. Can teach, all right? Y el verbo principal igual. It remains the same. Permanece en forma base. With no S. Inclusive en una oración afirmativa. ¿Por qué? Ah, porque igual, el que se modificaría en todo caso sería el verbo auxiliar, pero como ya les mencioné, este tipo de verbos no se modifican en tercera persona, right? It remains the same. Entonces, ninguno de los dos, tanto el auxiliar como el verbo principal, they don't suffer any modification, okay? So that's why we got it like that. So let's see. Now, let's talk a little bit about what are the most common abilities that you people think you have. In my case, I can say that it's easy for me, right, to teach English. So I can say, I can teach English, all right? Esa es una habilidad que para mí es fácil de poder desarrollar, all right? That's why I'm using can. Now, let's give me one example. What are those activities or those abilities that you do and it is easy for you to do? And let's start up with Nubia. Nubia, what is easy for you to do? Can you give me an example using Ken? Okay. Um, in ability, uh -huh. um, I can play the violin. Ah, okay, good. That's an ability, right? I can play the violin. And that is an ability that not everybody has it. In my case, I cannot play the violin, right? It is difficult for me. <laughs> you know what? I bought a guitar like three years ago because I wanted to play the guitar, learn to play the guitar. And you know what? I didn't learn. To. I got it in there. I <laughs> Yeah, it was frustrating for me. So I, I got it there, right? So that's an ability that is not for me. Venda la mejor. Ah, ya la va a utilizar cuando cante la, las, las canciones para dormir a bebés. Ahí va a poder cantar. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to learn to play la bacalola there. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Cuando les canta uno para que um, se duerman, para que yes. coman, para que... Ah, le va a tocar, apréndase las canciones. Ya, yeah, I mean, that's true, aunque sea para espantar los malos espíritus, va a ser bueno. Porque tengo una voz que ya se imagina. Uh, nada que cuando cante le salga uno. <risa> yeah. Que yeah, se man. calle, le va a decir. Oh, my God, yes, that's true. There you go. Okay, let's see. Uh, Maritza, give me one example about an activity that is easy for you or an ability that you have using Ken. I can play solitary. Solitary. The card game? <laughs> okay, all right. Nice. Oh, I can, I can cook. Nah, okay, good. And what can you cook? Oh, what can you cook? Um, Be more specific. What can you cook? I can cook. Huh? Lasagna. Lasagna. Huh? Mm -hmm. I do really love lasagna. That's nice. All right, good, Marisa. 
Now, Fatima, what can you do? Tell me, what is easy for you to do? Yes, I can uh -huh. clean the space. Yes, uh, Fatima, I, I mean, something that might be know. easy for you. I mean, something no. like... No, uh, no, no, para todos, teacher. Ajá, ajá. Okay, okay. That, that acceptable, okay? I will buy that. Okay. I'll buy that. Okay, good. Ever? How about you, Ever? I don't know. <laughs> What can I you can, do? Uh -huh. I don't know. I can fix cell phones. I don't know. Ah, really? You can fix cell phones? Yeah. No? Okay. Good. Nice. Good, man. Solo, solo por, por cuando no tengo nada que hacer, me pongo a travesía y de repente veo que puedo reparar esas cosas. Nice, man. That's cool. Pero no voy a hacer igual a mí, que una vez eh, quise este, componerle una faja al carro, eh, empecé a destornillar unas partes ahí, y you know what? Me sobraron como cinco tornillos. Me sobraron como cinco tornillos. Me sobraron como cinco tornillos. Otro. Me sobraron como cinco tornillos. Y como que, ¿qué? ¿Dónde? Le, si yo, le yo puso la... Todos los lugares tienen tornillo a mí. ¿Por qué me sobraron cinco? And I took, took it to the mechanic. Y you know what? El mecánico me dijo, valor tenés. Ahí, supuestamente uno de los tornillos principales de la faja de tiempo se los había quitado es well, mecánico de bicicleta en cadena exactly <laughs> por poco me lo he hecho ah, good ever so you can fix cell phone really cool Eric how about you okay I can repay computers and set up programs. I can make electrical installations. I can... Otra cosa, Eric. Otra cosa. Something... Cocina. More difficult. I can, I can repair uh, uh, laundry. Ah, really? You can? Really? Because um, mine is, is damaged, so I'm gonna pay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take you home and you can fix mine. <laughs> fix, fix cell phone and flash Carlos, flash. Can you, uh, Eric, can mm -hmm. you hack sí. cell phones? Can you hack cell phones? I need to hack one. Puedes hackear cell phones. Necesito hackear uno por acá. Yeah, ah, no, en esa área no me meto. Casi ah, me meto later, problema man. una text vez. <laughs> ah, no, pues ahí si es personal, obvio, solo hay que get into trouble. Ok, good, Eric. I mean, you, you, you can do a lot of things. That's a good ability. Good. Uh, let's see, Hilmar, how about you? Um, I can create video games. Uh huh. Good. Um, I can eat chat. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Good. That's really nice. Okay, that's a really good activity. Uh, uh, yeah, right? I can track your cell phone. Do my do wife. I will text you later, man. I will, I will text you later. Mm. Jesus Christ. 